And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stalking Hunters. This is going to be our next deck. This is going to be a mostly all Bilgewater deck. 36 Bilgewater cards just for um, Shadow Isles cards, just for Stalking Shadows. And so our, I wanted to play Stalking Shadows with Jaw Hunters. Uh, we played the Turbo Twisted Fate deck yesterday where Jaw Hunters just looked amazing. And I wanted to think of like another way to play Jaw Hunters, and I wanted to I wanted to be able to grab them with Stalking Shadows. You can have um, like Ephemeral Jaw Hunters, like that seemed awesome. Like that Ephemeral copy, uh, it doesn't matter because you're just going to attack it into something and just use it as a removal spell and then create a sea monster. But that'd be pretty cool. And so we're basically playing an, an all Bilgewater deck, which is going to be very similar to the Turbo Twisted Fate deck that we played yesterday. Didn't really know exactly what to call this, so we just kind of went with those two cards, Stalking Hunters that combo but we're going to be focused on uh being able to play a longer game with bilgewater having card advantage and really leveling up twisted fates pretty quickly Yeah, you know, we need to draw eight plus cards but a lot of these things do draw cards we have yordle grifter zap spray fin those draw cards um obviously our pick a card and pilfer goods but then even like black market merchant um and pool shark i thought pool shark could be really cool with stalking shadows of being able to just you know, get this and get a couple more fleeting cards. Just get that extra card advantage. And even if you get, you know, like the Ephemeral Pool Shark, no big deal. Kind of the same thing with Black Market Merchant. This is an awesome card with Stalking Shadows of getting extra nab cards. That could be pretty, that's pretty cool too. So um, yeah, we're really just taking full advantage of Stalking Shadows and playing good stuff alongside with it. Um, One Vengeance for just some hard removal. That's our only other Shadow Isles card. And then of course, Riptide Rex at the top end. All right, so let's let's see how this does. It's going to be a probably a deck that plays some longer games because it's going to be drawing a lot. We'll be doing a lot of nabbing, uh, leveling up our Twisted Fate, all that kind of stuff. So Lee Sin Zed with a Karma. So could probably just mulligan it all. We could keep make it rain. Mega Rain does like a good job breaking up a barrier, but doesn't really kill anything in this matchup. I'm just gonna mulligan it all. I don't know, maybe I should keep the Mega Rain. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Cool, Black Market Merchant's a good draw. Get our nab started. Maybe we'll nab Karma. Nope, didn't get Karma. Maybe they're only playing two Zenith Blades, and they'll play a Zenith Blade earlier, and then, or like later, and then they don't get to grab one. Do not fear the shrouded path. Wonder if that's possible. Vessel small, but Jake lacking courage. So I think I'm just going to not block the Zed at all. Take it, they get to level up Zed. But then swing back with the Jaw Hunters. no more Zeds. Another Zed will be devastating. That card is amazing. Mountain Goat. Another Riptide Rex. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Yeah, put a barrier on that thing. I'm gonna pick a card of the Zenith Blade. I'm gonna pass turn. We'll see. We may be casting Make It Rain. You know, bye, puppy. Gold, crystals. Let's see. So we're gonna block here, block here. 
Pass priority. The spell shield is the annoying part of that. Certainly, so that Mega Rain doesn't kill the Mountain Goat. Alright, so we're in a higher gun. I am getting the three fleeting cards next turn, so saving the spell mana would not have been bad either. Doing pretty good card-wise, though. They have five cards in hand, I have four, but I'm also drawing four cards next turn. Tough call with pilfer goods or, or pool shark. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. The dead don't need riches. You point, I shoot. All right, let's just attack like this. Let's let's we'll see. So we do have the black market merchant in play for the pilfer goods. Okay, with this happening, probably going pilfer goods. The good part about the pool shark is that I could make it rain and kill the mentored stones. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle play. But we'll just pull for good. We'll draw two. Those are good cards. Especially that Pell Cascade. But we can even get the surprise blocker with the claws of the dragon. be a good time for Twisted Fate. But they should be going straight to attacks. Yeah. So we could put in Claws of the Dragon to get just another blocker. That's how much of their board do we want to decimate before potential make it rain. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cast Warning Shot. And... Because then I want Black Marker Merchant in play. And then I'm going to plus two, plus one. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, my own. This Black Marker Merchant. Rain from a so this will come sky. in. We're going to block here, block here, and block here. I'll leave him with three things with one health. Which is good for Make It Rain. Perfect. So I want to do this right now before the, the Serpent... Before they pl start playing gems on the Serpent and heal the Serpent. <clears throat> okay, they did that. The other one I'm saving for next turn for Riptide Rex. So... Uh, that was my one chance of killing the serpent this turn. So I'm, I'm playing this black market merchant and then going to save the, the other two mana. <clears throat> for that make it rain for next turn. And stop staring. Sharing, not stealing. It's not a good nab. We really just want spells from them. I don't care about these units at all. the Nexus. Oh, 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 oh. I really want to attack with the Black Market Merchants. Don't in my way. But I don't know, they're at 8. What am I doing? We could, we could throw away the Black Market Merchants. They're at 8. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm thinking that I want to keep these Black Market Merchants for these Yordle Grifters, and then kind of look at the life total, and then I'm like, wait a minute. We can attack with those. Alright, Rex, finish it out. So 
really glad they didn't have any more champions. Um, yeah, they played the one Zed. Our Jaw Hunters checked that Zed. They didn't have another Zed. Does that keep them alive? No, it does not. Okay. Yeah, because there's three of those going to that. Alright, GG's. I'm pretty confident in this deck. Alright. Hopefully Harvey's done barking. Higher gun, black market merchant, pilfered goods. So what we have the attack token on turn three. Okay, so I'm I'm hoping that they don't have anything to play on turn one or turn two unit wise. And that my higher gun gets to hit them on turn three. Okay, well I also have warning shot now. We each hold a world within. Okay, so higher gun's probably not hitting them on turn three. Time to make some coin. The dragon binds us. Wow. Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. Wow. So. Yep, that'll happen. So it could go warning shot, black market merchant. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cool. What is gained when we That's not bad. I'll take it. All right, another pill for goods. Force is meaningless without skill. And savagery without I had a good hand. Okay. So we are going to... Let's do this! Attack with Zap Sprayfin. I'm not too confident in, in this game. I was more confident before we started until how these first four turns played out. Less confident, for sure. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Yeah, much less confident. I, uh, made it myself. Okay, I like those. You know, let's play our two jagged butchers right now. While they are three threes. There's plenty of killing left. So we'll have like two mana hush, then three mana hush. Celestial power. Still can't kill a three four. Grasping claws. Wow. I'll see this through. Prepare yourself. Spring does not pity winter. Kind of cast the hush on the mentor of the stones, but then. I won't have the hush for Lee Sin later. <laughs> RV. Stop. So we'll probably need to cast keep the hush for Lee Sin later. And I'll just play this right now. Wow, really? <laughs> The one thing I wanted to hit, we missed. Breathe in, breathe out. I wanted to hit that five one before they healed it. Conflict is all in the mind. Staring, not stealing. Okay. Yeah, I do like that they let Lee Sin take two damage. What is gained when we return malevolence? I do like that. Conflict is all in the mind. Okay. 
I guess that's the only attack because of these draglings. So, like, you could be worried about Bastion because... Alright, so we are going to Bastion our thing. Hopefully this works. Hopefully they can't target Jaw Hunters again. Because otherwise I just used a lot of resources. Like two really important cards at fighting Lee Sin. No. Ugh. Ho, ho. Uh, needed that. Yeah, I know, Harvey. I'm not too happy about that either. I have to put Harvey over here by my side and be petting her. Because if I stop petting her at all, she'll just start barking. That hurts. That was... That was the turn we needed. We needed to take out that Lee Sin. That was the turn we needed to... to do that. They've had a great hand ever since, you know, even just like the very beginning with that Eye of the Dragon stuff and then Lee Sin immediately on four with all these. Yeah, they just had a great hand. I... Can't really do anything. Um, we have one Vengeance in our deck. Maybe we draw the Vengeance. Riptide Rex. Uh, I don't have a. I don't have a warning shot for that. I will not hold back. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Strike firm. Center your spirit. Love it. Prepare no. Yourself. <laughs> no, go back, hit the spray thing. Center your spirit. Face me. No. I'll see this through. Okay, not one shotting me. Live here. It's only sixteen damage. Down to four. All right, taking Jaw Hunters. So I really want to see... I don't know, I need to see like a way to do damage to them. We're just gonna put back the Ephemeral Jaw, jaw Hunters. Right, cause like I need, I need Riptide Rex to work. I have to make it rain right now. I would like to draw a Warning Shot though. Well, I had to cast that Hush, otherwise their Lee Sin was gonna survive that. My 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 plan there, Hush is the only card in their deck that would have saved their Lee Sin. That's the only card that they play. And we already had one of their Hushes in in our hand. So a lot of people play three, but some people play two Hush. So like they, they had to have either one of two two total cards to kill their Lee Sin, but they just had it. Well, I mean killing Lee Sin is the is the plan. I mean I understand that Hush on their attack is nice, but you have to kill kill Lee Sin. Like, it's not a very good chance that they could have kept their Lee Sin alive. They just had the card to do it. No warning shot here. Whole bunch of nothing. Deal me in. Uh, but sorry, Hiccup. Yeah, no, I, I don't play MTG anymore. I just I have switched over to Rune Terra. Every Mega Rain we have is the worst possible Mega Rain. <laughs> this this game's just not gone our way. Everything's gone right for them. It's gonna happen sometimes, I suppose. It's gonna happen sometimes, I suppose. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Oh. 
Back to Fiora Garen now. Definitely like Jaw Hunters. I kind of think I mulligan these two cards. Which means we probably mulligan Grifter too. Let's just mulligan these three. Um, if we had the attack token, if they had the attack token on turn one, I would have kept those and I would have played like the the one two on turn one and then Black Market Merchant on turn two with attacking with the one two. That was a frustrating game we just played. Hmm. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Unyielding light. This is also frustrating because I can't just pass and not play anything. Go and harvest it. But they're just going to have the Fleet Feather Tracker and my Jaw Hunter's trade. I might as well do it proactively because of Bright Seal Protector. My faith protects me. What if I just play a 4-4? Four -four? They block in? Nope. Of king and country. Hmm. Can't quite kill that thing. He started without me. No, I need to keep that. Okay. So I was thinking I need to keep the I was kind of planning on playing the Twisted Fate first and then the Pilfer Goods to get the card draw going for the Twisted Fate. But I think I need to keep this for the gold card. But maybe not. Gotta go with the flow. Could be good. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Putting the barrier on the 2-2 means they don't want to challenge the 2-2. So they challenge something with 3 power. That allows us to kill the Genevieve, theoretically. Okay. Now they still have Garen. I understand that's not good. Letting gets golden glory. So that takes out one of our problems. I'll stop you. You can't do this. Stay resolute. All right, so it did strike. Get some damage on Garen. So that we can have gold card. Finish off Garen. No, that spell shield. Oh no, that spell shield and the plus one plus one. That makes Garen three health, so now Gold Card doesn't stop. If it was like the plus one plus one would have been fine, or for a spell shield we'd be fine. But the combination of both plus one plus one and spell shield, and then the level up. Well done. Well, let's maybe do this. All right, I like that. How do you mean such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. I am uh, made myself. Those are good.
right, lots of pill cascades. We stole all three pill cascades. Whoa! Hoey! Huge cheer. <laughs> Thank you, Hoey. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. I'm, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna block. And Riptide Rex. Get some cannon barrages. Hopefully that takes down Garen. We got four cannon barrages going at Garen. So a Bastion does not save Garen. We know they don't have any Pill Cascades because we took all of them. We nabbed every Pill Cascade. Alright, that will save. That will save Garen. They're down to just three cards now. So I think that we got this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. Alright, gonna we get priority first, gonna start with gold card. Never lost a fair game. Stun that, and if they have the third at Bastion, it will have Mega Rain to stop that Bastion. And obviously the Mega Rain stops the Fleet Feather Tracker. Okay, they don't have Bastion. If they did, they would All the probably glories. play it. But, so I don't know. Maybe I should be casting Mega Rain right now. All right, let's miss some cool. Up. Waiting for them to play something else. No! Well, could be worse. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Attack. Attack with your yapping. Going down to five. No warning shot. Was an extra two cards drawn for Twisted Fate, so that's pretty good. All right, Vengeance looks good. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? So basically, Judgment is kind of our only way to lose. I like our deck a bunch. This one seems really good. That last game that we lost was uh, was pretty disappointing with all the good fortune they had. Hmm. A little surprised that's not killing Twisted Fate, but all right. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Okay, no warning shot. Stalking yeah, Shadows draw a card. Sometimes we gotta create our own warning shot. Draw some more cards. Yeah, there's a warning shot. We would find one eventually. Soak it in. Cool shark with stalking shadows is pretty cool. Warning shots, GGs. Outplayed. Two and one. But yeah, that's where I messed that up. So 
maybe we do need that second Vengeance. Vengeance has looked really good as the one of so far. So this matchup, like, this is going to be a They Who Endure deck, right? So I, I do need Vengeance against They Who Endure. Now, I know that's not for a while, but still, the game's going to come down to They Who Endure. And if I shuffle this Vengeance back in, and then we just never find it, never draw it, um, that's going to be... That could be a, a real big problem. Well, that's pretty good. Just pass. That egg. Did it move? They got three cards and a spider, and I got four cards. Oh. Should have waited. There you are. Alright, looks like we're gonna have a whole lot of Yordle Grifters. This would have been a great time to find Pool Shark, or really just any one drop, just I know it would have just like we would have played the ephemeral copy just to trade with their ephemeral to save a little bit of life. I think I kept that Stalking Shadows in hand in my opener, didn't I? Maybe I should not have. That could be good. It's good against another Blighted Caretaker. Kind of. Collector. Achilles? Where are you? Against yours. Do I have to vengeance this Neverglade Collector? Sure don't want to. I do have the Jaw Hunters. I guess that's my plan is Jaw Hunters. So if Jaw Hunters is my plan. Where do you stand on cold shots? Got a few extra mana we can use. This will small, but she ain't lacking courage. Obviously, the Callista is trouble as well. Go and harvest it. But probably not as much trouble as Neverglade Collector is. Oh, I don't have any healing. I, I can get blockers, but I can't get Nexus healing unless I you don't get from them. We could glimpse beyond the hapless aristocrat, but I think that'd be nice to save till after Twisted Fate. Oh, right. Let's get an extra card. I should have thrown away one of these warning shots. What was that? A Stalking Shadows? That's all right. Needs you to pay up. Where are you going? I'm going blue card. We're going to try to level up to a fate. That Stalking Shadows would have been good. And I'm casting my own Glimpse Beyond right now so that we can get the extra mana that the blue card, um, you know, how it can refill a mana so it's like that Glimpse Beyond only costs one mana. We have lots of pick of cards. So right now we're at three. Black Marker Merchant is four. And then pick a card plus card for turn. That would be enough 
to level up Twisted Fate right at the beginning of the next turn. I don't have that much room in hand. So I'm gonna burn a lot of cards. So we draw four cards next turn, so one of them will get burned. Unless I cast both warning shots. Well, I guess I'm casting both warning shots. Let him think it's luck. Alright, so Twisted Fate will be leveled up. Can win them all. all right. Where do we want to start? Let's start with Jack Butcher. I know it's just a 2 2, and I could easily, easily make it a 3 3. But I also like starting here. Ooh, that's important. I'm, I'm just basically planning on letting this pick a card go away. They're probably expecting me to attack. Okay, maybe not. I was going to say, my plan wasn't even to attack begin with. I was hoping they were going to just save their mana. Good card. Good card. So they were going to like wait for me to attack and then they wanted to play They Who Endure afterwards. Um, now we can attack. Lady Luck is smiling. Clear up some space. Swole Cat. It's a Swole Squirrel, Kato the Arm, Katarina, Lulu Shen. All that kind of cool stuff. Um, yeah, it is It is fun. Yeah, it's real fun. So yeah, that's... Um, click on there, you'll find it. It's you know, one of the last decks that we just made. Okay, we're gonna have to kill this Neverglade Collector again. Do I have to use Vengeance? I guess I don't have to use Vengeance. Eyes open. We're gonna take two damage from these things dying. With the red cards. I should probably be putting bodies in front of them just in case. I never disclose my sources. Cool, more zero mana cards. I like that. Hold it, partner. There can be no justice. Only revenge. I don't know, these are all just awesome choices. We can kinda do whatever we want right now. I'm not greedy. My friends don't.
That's a, obviously that's a bad trade for me, but I need to just clear out my hand. You weren't using it. There's a they who endure. Well, I guess I could have had Curse Keeper with that, with that thing instead. Oh well. Had ten allies die for they who endure. Hmm. One man is short from doing the they who endure Cygnus combo. <laughs> it's a pretty cool combo. Elusives. All right, GGs. Three and two. Outplay. I liked our deck. I think it was really impressive. The decks with a lot of Nexus damage, the aggro decks with a lot of Nexus damage, are probably going to be what you struggle with the most with this deck because it is, or it can be at least, a slower deck and um, doesn't have any kind of Nexus healing. Um, but besides that, like your uh, the rest of the decks, I feel like you can outgrind kind of anything with all the card advantage in here. There's just so many things that say draw a card while you're still putting a lot of stuff in play. You still have like Jaw Hunters that's doing some good removal for you. Vengeance looked really good. It did kind of feel like I wanted another Vengeance, but Vengeance is the kind of card that is also pretty rough to hit off of pick a card or a pool shark with it being that fleeting. You don't really want your fleeting seven mana cards. Um, maybe two Vengeance, two Riptide Rex, but maybe not. Riptide Rex, as we know, is still just awesome. I think if I would put in a second Vengeance, it'd probably be over a Riptide Rex. That's probably where it would go. So, you know, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of what we have. So, you know, like, this is going to be a Turbo Twisted Fate deck with, uh, with all this card draw. And, um, so if that's, that's the kind of deck that you like to play, you want to be able to have lots and lots of cards. Give it a try. And Nab, Nab's a fun mechanic to play, but not really a fun mechanic to play against. <laughs> yeah, you don't like getting your cards nabbed. It definitely, it's definitely much less of a feel, but feels bad now that it's the bottom cards. But this deck does a good job of nabbing with Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, and Yordle Grifter, and more ways to find all of those cards with Stalking Shadows. Basically, Stalking Shadows is just a great card, and I wanted to find a, a really good shell for it, and I think that this is kind of it, because we have we have just a lot of cards that are awesome to make ephemeral copies of. You know, Ephemeral Pool Shark, Ephemeral Black Market Merchant, even Ephemeral Hired Gun is really strong. I'm just giving something else vulnerable and being a blocker. Ephemeral Jaw Hunter is, of course, really great, because you can just take your Ephemeral thing and challenge something, and also create another sea monster in hand. And then these things, Ephemeral... Also, you know, like Yordle Grifter, you can still have it be, you play it as like a blocker and draw two cards. Kind of the same thing with Sprayfin, have it as a blocker, draw a card. And then Ephemeral Riptide Rex, nothing wrong with that at all. So I feel like this is a really good Stalking Shadows deck. All right, but anyway, that's our deck, Stalking Hunters. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. This one does feel real strong. Um, you know, even though we just went 3-2, um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be very surprised if I would go 5-0 the next time I would play, play it. Uh, the, the burn decks, though, that could be where you run into some trouble. All right, but anyway, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of it. If you're trying it out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. Love to hear that feedback. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.